quick question. What do you know about Web3? Have you ever heard this term? Well, if you have been following me on Instagram or other social media closely, you probably saw me posting and talking about Web3, yeah, about blockchain, etc. Well, the reason why I'm doing this, I'm a Web3 enthusiast and I'm also a Web3 community builder in Miami. And the reason why I'm so excited about this technology is because it's the new cutting edge iteration of the web where your personal data is both accessible and secure. Technically, right now, people are building the new internet and this is exciting, isn't it? My courses and my lessons are not just about teaching you how to speak better English and how to be an effective communicator. My courses and lessons are for you to become a better professional, to learn more cutting edge things in the world. That is why I'm very excited to teach you more about about what Web3 is and some fundamentals of Web3. When you want to get into Web3, there is the very first thing that you need to do. You need to get a crypto wallet. When you hear the expression crypto wallet, you might think that you need a crypto wallet when you want to buy, sell or exchange crypt cryptocurrency, for example. This is not true. A crypto wallet is actually an authorization app in Web3. So technically, if you want to interact with Web3 technology, for example, you want to log into a website that um, has been built in Web3, yeah, using Web3 technology or any other application, you need a crypto wallet, not your email, not a password to that email, but a crypto wallet. So technically, in the Web3 world, a crypto wallet is just like your email in the Web2 world, right? Uh, that you need in order to um, authorize in order to get authorization and interact with other applications. For example, if the English for IT e-learning platform was a Web3 application, you would need a crypto wallet in order to log into your user account and start learning English. Now you have to use your email address and password because this is a Web2 application. However, the reason why I'm bringing up the topic of a crypto wallet and why I want to teach you more about it and why I want you actually to get a crypto wallet right now while watching this video is because English for IT is a progressive company. I'm a progressive leader, so I want my company and I want my followers to be progressive with me. That is why I am building a hybrid e-learning platform a hybrid e-learning solution for you to actually learn more and uh, yeah, just be better than the majority of people who know less. That is why we have built a blockchain solution to issue you certificates once you complete the course. When you complete the English for IT course, you will be able to receive a certificate of completion as a blockchain verified NFT. And in order to get this certificate, you will need to have a crypto wallet and you will need to share this crypto wallet address with us, with the team, so that we can issue this certificate. Blockchain verified certificates have much more credibility and authenticity than any other PDF or JPEG certificate. All right, let's get down to business and get you a crypto wallet. The crypto wallet that we need is called MetaMask. MetaMask is a decentralized crypto wallet built on Ethereum blockchain that also supports Polygon. So technically our blockchain certification was built on Polygon. There are many crypto wallets out there. There is a MetaMask, there is Trust Wallet, Wallet Connect, Coinbase, Phantom Wallet, etc. There is a lot of information online. So if you're curious to learn about different crypto wallets, go ahead and Google it. It's very easy to get your crypto wallet. It's literally going to take you five minutes right now, but I want to want you to be prepared. So I want you to be in front of your laptop. Yeah. So get on your laptop and you will need a piece of paper and a pen. Very important. Now I'm going to walk you through the setup of your MetaMask wallet. Let's get down to business. In this video, I will teach you how to set up a MetaMask wallet. But before we get started, you will need a piece of paper and a pen. First thing to do, you need to go to your Chrome browser and search for MetaMask.io. This is what I just did. And uh, now you need to download MetaMask for Chrome. Just hit download for Chrome. Okay, now go add to Chrome. 
you are adding this extension to Chrome. Very easy. Three clicks, that's it. Now you can see that uh, you're being redirected to um, actually setting up your MetaMask wallet. Um, if you want to find your MetaMask extension here, just add it to your extension bar over here. You see, this is what I just did. All right, now look at this little fog. So cute, isn't, isn't it? All right, let's get started. First, of course, read the information that you see on the screen. Always do this because this is important. Like for us here, the most important thing is what the what MetaMask promises to never do. MetaMask will never collect your keys, addresses, transaction balances, hashes, or any other personal information. They will not collect your IP addresses, etc., etc. This information is really important because if someone re is reaching out to you and they say that they're from MetaMask and they ask you for your keys or for your address or something else, you will know that this is an imposter. Yeah, this is not a real person because MetaMask will not do this. Okay, we agree. Now, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, you need to create a wallet. But if you already have a wallet, you will need to import your wallet and you will need to have your recovery phrase with you. We are setting up the new wallet, so let's create the wallet. The first thing to do, we need to create a password. Uh, okay, so here, create some strong passwords. You know the rules. Okay, and let's go. Now, MetaMask is offering you a short video tutorial before getting started. Watch this video, okay? So you can pause my video and watch this video. I already watched the video, um, but again, very important when you start using some new technology and when there is some information offered by the company on how to use this technology, please don't be lazy and get yourself familiar with this information. All right, now this is probably one of the most, not probably, this is one of the most important steps when setting up your MetaMask wallet. It's a secret recovery phrase, not only for MetaMask, for pretty much any crypto wallet. A secret recovery phrase is more important than your password that you just created, because if you forget the password, it's fine. You can recover it with a secret recovery phrase. If you forget your secret recovery phrase, no way you can ever, ever get access to your crypto wallet. MetaMask will not help you. They will not be able to reset it. Remember, this is a decentralized application everything is written on blockchain, right? So once the information is on blockchain, it's irreversible there. That is why it's really important that you don't lose this seed phrase. Now, another important thing about the seed phrase, this is a, the time when you need a piece of paper and a pen. Never store this phrase on your computer. You have to use web zero technology. <laughs> I don't think if there is such a term as web zero, but this is what I call it. We are now interacting with the web three technology. However, we have to use web zero technology, piece of pa pa uh, paper and a pen to write down this seed phrase. Do not, again, do not save it to your computer or to your phone because you know, there are a lot of scammers, you know, people who want to get the information, get the things that you store in your wallet. Don't lose the paper. That's another thing. Don't lose the paper. Uh, remember where you put this paper or where, you know, you put this notebook. Okay. So another important thing here, when you write down your seed phrase, check if you wrote all the words correctly. Cause one time, yeah, Anna is not perfect. One time I wrote down my, my recovery phrase and I made a mistake. And then when I wanted to um, recover my crypto wallet, it would tell me it's a wrong phrase. It's a wrong phrase. And I was like, how is it the wrong phrase? It's the right phrase. I know it. And then I realized that I wrote one word incorrectly. I made a mistake in one letter. So make sure you check yourself. Um, I was lucky because I was able to figure out what went wrong and uh, I, you know, entered the word correctly. Okay, so let's write it down. I know it takes a little bit of time. You do the same thing with me, okay? I don't want you to waste time and setting this wallet later. Let's do it together. Okay. And also make sure they are in the same order. Okay. So make sure you write the words down in the order as you can see them here. All right. Next. Now we need to pick uh, the words that we have just written down. 
Yep, let's go. In the same order as you just saw them on the previous page. Yep. Yep. And yep. All right, confirming. Congratulations. Congratulations. Again, read the information that you can see on the screen here. Tips on storing your uh, recovery phrase safely. Back it up in multiple places. Not one piece of paper, maybe have several pieces of paper. Never share this phrase with anyone. Don't show it to anyone. By the way, I'm just like test. I'm not gonna use this crypto wallet that I'm creating for this video. So don't even try to log in We're using my seed phrase. Um, be careful of phishing. Yeah, phishing, this is all these scammers that will ask you for your recovery phrase, for your phone number, for your email address. I'm just kidding. No phone numbers. Yeah, for your recovery phrase and things like that. If you need to back up your secret recovery phrase, again, uh, you can find it in uh, settings and security over here. And if you have questions or something, feel free to contact the support. By the way, one time I did reach out to the MetaMask support. They were pretty quick to respond. However, they couldn't help me. And the, the problem I had, I got fished. Yeah, I got fished. And, uh, they drained my wallet. They stole my Ethereum in my wallet. It was my fault because I connected my MetaMask to the wrong, to a wrong website. So it, it was a phishing website and they asked me to connect my MetaMask wallet. I connected my MetaMask wallet. They got access to my wallet. After that, of course, I'm not able to use this. I mean, I'm able to use the wallet, but I don't want to use the wallet because it was compromised. So MetaMask couldn't help me. Uh, that is why be very careful. Do not connect your wallet to the websites that you know nothing about, just like what I did. Uh, the reason why I'm telling you is because uh, in order to receive your certificate of completion with Eng from English for IT, you will need to connect your wallet to our website. And uh, like I said, your crypto wallet is your authentication tool. Yeah. So technically, uh, if you want to interact with Web3, applications, they will always ask you to connect your wallet in order to proceed, right? It's like registering with your email, for example, or registering with your phone number. In Web3, you don't register with your email or phone number, you connect your wallet. That is why be very careful. You have to have the information about the websites that you want to connect your wallet to. Okay, here we go. We're in, this is our crypto wallet. Now, in order to receive an English for IT certificate, after you complete the course, you will need to pass the wallet address to the English for IT team. Where can you find this wallet address? It's right over here. You see account one and it offers you to copy the address to your clipboard. So you copy the address to your clipboard and you pass it to the English for IT team. And once you have completed the course successfully, successfully, which means that you have done all the tasks, you watched all the lessons, the uh, yada, 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 you will be able to receive your blockchain verified NFT certificate. All right, these are the uh, basic things you need to know in order to get started in Web3 and in order to start using your crypto wallet. All set. Congratulations. Now you have a MetaMask crypto wallet. The next step is to copy your MetaMask wallet address and share it with the English for IT team so that we can mint a certificate for you once you complete the course. Yeah, another small thing left to do. You need to actually continue practicing, continue learning English and complete the course.